we are here with Coach Tony. Coach, just take us through that last play. Well, I mean, you know, to be honest with you, uh, we played with a lot of heart in the last fourth quarter. We had a lot of foul trouble. We had injuries. We had injuries before the game. So, I mean, we, well, I mean, I was disappointed that we gave up the, the first shot from them, you know, when we had a couple of fouls to give. And then obviously we designed the play and, uh, you know, Lufty was able to get free and, you know, he, 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 made, he shot that ball with good conviction. So really happy, happy with how we also defended their last play as well. I thought we really guided it out. And you guys were down by 12 at yeah, one moment. I think actually you even got to 14 at one stage. But, oh, wow. But 12 or 14. Yeah. And, um, you know, without a point guard after Abraham goes out, um, Irvin was already injured. And then, uh, you know, without Gallant, Sandy was 50% because he'd been uh, in bed all of yesterday with the flu. So, um, you know, we're happy. But like I told our players, we're a long way away from where we need to be. Um, we want to challenge with the top teams. Obviously, we're going home now. Mm -hmm. um, but, you know, we obviously consider Rands a, a top one of the better teams in this league. So that's always when you can get a win against a team like that. It's important. I mean, yeah, this is not the result that you guys were looking for. But and you haven't been with the team for a long time too. Yeah. Uh, I think you just got yeah. here Listen, a couple of weeks ago. I'm not, I'm not taking anything away from being with Picasso, but we had zero preparation games. I was away for six weeks, and it showed. We played terrible that game. You know, we had a two-point quarter in the second quarter. You know, like you can't win basketball games when you only score two points. So you know, we're, we 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 got that out, and Sandy had the shot at the end to tie it. The referee doesn't call the foul there. They win the game, and then obviously they play really well against Rams. So there's nothing we can really do about that. Um, now what we need to do is we need to really concentrate on getting better as a team, both individually and also as a team, and then start preparing for the actual league. Well, I, keep, I mean, talking about imports, you're going to have Dior Lohorn, who has been playing the IBL for a while now. What do you expect for him to bring for this team? Well, I mean, Dior has won or got close to winning in almost every team he's played for. So we expect that consistency and that championship level pedigree. A lot of people, you know, see sometimes how he acts on the court, but you can't argue with the, the end product. Um, so we're looking forward to having him. And plus, we built a team of shooters. Yeah. So when people collapse on Dior like they have been in most of the times that he's been playing, we're going to have people that can flat out shoot the ball. Last one, Coach. How happy are you to see Coach Agus yesterday get his first win as yeah, a head coach with that's NSH? A, that's a great question, okay? Coach yeah. Agus, I, I was so, so proud of him. Mm -hmm. You know, he's doing a great job at NSH. Mm -hmm. And uh, he's, done, he's really got that team, you know, playing really well together. So I'm very proud of him. He's a great young coach, and I hope that he's going to get the opportunity to show that. Coach, thank you so much, and good luck. Thank you, Agus.